Hello friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing coming to you with a kind of a copycat project. I watched a tutorial video over on Bluebird Lane Creations, Tiffany over there. She did a tag your it um, project and though I think the intention is I would create my own thing but I have I loved this um, project that she did so I'm gonna go ahead and just repeat it I hope that's okay with you guys um, it's just my take on it just different papers whatever but I am getting ready to start a new journal it's called it's gonna be called uh, Daisy Dream and it is um, sort of a commission piece in that uh, journal in that um, it's been requested uh, with certain elements and ideas in mind but um, I'm not charging for it so I'm just creating it because uh, it is a, a really dear person uh, in the life of my best friend and so I thought I would go ahead and get started on it so I um, what part of the request was to not have a bunch of hidden things because um, that might pr pr um, that might produce a challenge for the person receiving it. So I thought these belly band um, belly band fold out accordion writing spaces would be awesome. So that's what we're going to attempt to do today. So again, if this is a copycat video. Um, please head over to Bluebird Lane Creations, Tiffany over there. Um, great, uh, great ideas. And so what I have here is I have obviously more than I'm going to use, but I've also prepped a bunch of other stuff. Let me just show you here. This is all of my gatherings of scrap papers and scrap lace and things like that that I'll be using in this project in um, this journal so I got a bunch of stuff ready just so that I would have it ready for the next video which I'm going to make some cluster page edges with the stuff over there so um, so yeah that's gonna be I, I believe I'm gonna probably do that as a crash my trash we'll have to see um, so you know I'm addicted to clusters they're super fun so I thought we would do one that um, is not as long as a, or as tall as a page, page but maybe like so so you can see there with my fingers just a little over four inches or four inches or so so that's what we're gonna do but today we're gonna work on this so basically um, I, as I watched Tiffany's video um, I decided again that I would go ahead and just give that a try and I picked a couple of different papers here. Oh, where did my other brad go? There it is. So I have two brads. I have one gold and one yellow star. It's kind of a sparkly star. And so we're going to be using those. One of the papers is this one, and this is from my Porch Prince uh, Daisy Bundle or Lazy Daisy. Um, I'm not sure which one, uh, but I'm going to be using that one. And then this one is from uh the journal boat and it's her yellow blue collection so we're going to be using this one as well so i already have my piece of coffee dyed paper that will act as the accordion part of this project and then the same with this one so these are just coffee dyed papers from my stash so we're going to go ahead and start with just inking things some things up right now and um i'm going to um I'll come back on and I'll talk to you about how we're going to score this for the accordion um, fold and then we'll start putting them together. So let me just go ahead and uh, I'll probably cut out the inking because you guys don't need to see that. So I will be back with you here in a moment. Okay, so that inking is done. I'm going to save the other one for later. Oh, I forgot my little tab. So I did cut out my little tabs. She put tabs on the edges of two of her uh, pieces which I, I neglected to share with you what that was going to look like in the end but hold on and I will get there I forgot so there we go one more and I actually um, I saw this on Tiffany's channel too um, she has the mini uh, what is it called it's the sidekick and uh, it's really nice because you can bring it on camera and such which I'll probably do in the future but I did use it to just do these little um, these little tabs so so yeah that was pretty exciting I think I want to turn one of these over though and use it the opposite way we'll see if we ink them we can use them either way but anyway the sidekick um, is small and easy to put on camera and it works like a charm it's just mini the plates are only like this wide and that tall it's really really cute so um, so let's go ahead and um, before yeah we'll set this paper aside we'll score that in a moment so basically what Tiffany did is her challenge for herself was to use something 
um, or oh I think hers was the dusted off she did two kind of tag things one was dusted off and the other was tag your it so I got tagged in her video but um, she uh, was following a a, um, a challenge on dusted off so find something in your studio and your in your supplies that you don't use or haven't used and she chose brads now I use brads quite a bit so it doesn't really fit for me but again I fell in love with the project and I thought it would be perfect for for my uh, for my new journal so thank you Tiffany again for the inspiration that's amazing so um, the way this is going to work this is going to be the top and then it's got two pieces being oh that one's upside down is it yes um, and then there's two pieces that are going to be connected to it so um, we're going to turn those that way and so the first thing that we're going to do just to get this part out of the way let me reach for my pokey tool is we're going to go ahead and poke a hole here in the corner of this piece. So what's going to happen is we're going to put a brad through there and then this is going to be able to open like this, kind of like a fan would. And then um, she put little pockets on hers going this direction. I think I'm going to put a longer pocket on the back too and I'll do a little embellishing on the front. We will just see how it goes. And I don't know how I missed this in videos, but I've been I've pierced my desk through my mat, um, and I've got little po pokey holes on my desk because the foam that I've been using is not deep enough to not injure my desk. So I went ahead and pulled a book like she did. So I thought that was an epic idea. I know I've seen it before, but I just never thought to try it. So these measure um, I apologize didn't I, these measure two and a half inches. I believe she did hers two inches so totally up to you what you decide to do um, I will link her video um, down below in the description box because I definitely like to give credit where credit is due and she was the one that came up with this epic idea so there we go so we've got our hole and I'm gonna go ahead and put the brad through just so you guys can see what that's gonna look like. Decided to use the gold brad on this one and we're gonna use the yellow one on the other piece. So I'm just putting that through the hole and then opening up the, um, the little dealios there. And I loved her idea also of kind of pressing this down. I have this great tool, I don't even know where I got it, but it's got the piercing point, but it's also got this other thing that I can use to flatten things, which is kind of cool. So I'm just pushing that down again. The idea there is to not, you know, is to kind of uh, reduce the bulk as much as possible. So now what's going to happen is this can open like this. So, yeah, get a hold of it, Renee. There we go. So the next thing that she did, which I thought was really cool, is she put tabs on the sides of the top two um, of these strips. I'm just needing to think about which way I want this to open out. So if I glue, if I do this, then, and I want it to pull out this way, um, I would want my tabs to be on this side. So that's what we're gonna do here. So I've got, oh, I forgot the other. I needed two tabs for each project. I don't think I did enough. I'm gonna have to grab that sidekick. We'll have to do it on camera. Goodness gracious. That's okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold this and I did already ink it when I was off camera. And again, this kit, this is from um, the um, yellow and blue collection from the Journal Boat. She's got some awesome digitals. They were some of the first that I purchased when I started getting, I, when I entered my addiction. <laughs> it's a good addiction to have you guys. There are a lot worse ones. So there we go. I'm gonna use the yellow on this just because of the pattern conflict here. So I'm gonna grab my art glitter glue here. And we're gonna go ahead and um, we're putting it on the first one and the second one. So I'm just gonna kind of turn this a little bit so I can get to it. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and glue it. I want it to go fairly far in because we don't want it to stick out of the side of the journal. That's kind of strange, isn't it? Huh. I'm not sure that I love this one, but this is what we've got, so we're gonna use it. So let's go ahead and just put some glue on here. I'm just gonna put it on the whole thing. <clears throat> and then I'm just gonna kind of set it down so that 
I can make sure that I get it straight. So I'm going to use my my uh, lines here on the on the mat here to kind of guess. I think that is about good for sticking out. And then we're just going to fold that in, and give it a good press, give it a chance to set. That looks crooked. Let me move it. There we go. Okay. It looks a little bit weird being in so much, especially on the other side, but I don't want them sticking out too far. So we're just going to go with that. And then you could totally like decorate, put something on there. I might do that. We'll see. So now I'm going to get to the second layer and I'm going to do it again. So it was pretty nifty because she kind of did this and then she, that way she could tell where she wanted the next one to be. So we're already set to do that. They're going to, this one should have probably come down lower, but I didn't want to affect, oh, I could go down lower on the other one though. I didn't want to affect this calendar. I think it's really cool. So I think we'll just go down a little bit lower here. So this one is about there. I know I'm jibber jabbering about right here. I'm um, just going to set that there. <laughs> I'm challenged. It's Sunday morning. Um, got Had a busy morning. Got everything done I needed to around the house. And uh, went and picked up the groceries. And so I'm just doing a little bit of creating before we head over to my daughter, our daughters, for dinner tonight. So I'm just going to do that like so. Just guess here. What's the worst that could go wrong? It might be a little bit crooked not a big deal so so yeah anyway yesterday I had a rough day I was just processing a lot of stuff and so I didn't get into the studio to create at all which was very different for me but it happens sometimes so there oh that's not supposed to go on that one. Oh my goodness for pity sake oh man Oh, now I can't affect it. I can't change it. Shoot. That one was supposed to go on the, the underneath one. So we will definitely do something with this and decorate it because it looks really weird on the front. Um, darn. That's a bummer. So I need to get the sidekick out and cut another one. So I'll be right back. Hopefully I have a piece that's big enough. I might have to... Oh, shoot. That's a bummer. Bummer. Darn. Oh, there's more. Yay. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's not on the other side though. Shoot. That was must have been an old scrap that I hadn't uh, hadn't done over. Um, but this we'll go ahead. Yeah, this one will work. <clears throat> Goodness, I tell ya. So this sidekick is really cool. So you put it on your surface and then this handle goes back. And as you can see the plates are super small and really cool. And I just keep a piece of washi tape on there in case I need to hold hold my item down. So I'm using this die here. And not my favorite one for this particular project, but that's okay. I won't win them all. And then on this one, different than the big shot, you go the opposite direction. The big shot, you go that way. On the, this one, you go this way, which I thought was also kind of different. There we go. We'll just set that aside because we're going to need it again for the other project. Setting that aside and got another tab. You know, we can always fix stuff, guys. It may not be what you intended, but it's not uh, its not the end of the world. So I'm going to go ahead and ink this one up. This op often happens to me when I'm doing something for the first time. I just forget little little steps or I do things out of order. But junk journaling is very forgiving in that way. So I think we're good. I don't think we need to put any glue on the other, except I can see some white. I don't like to see the white. Ooh, yuck. There we go. So let's try this again. <laughs> so we've got that and that and um, I can't, these aren't even sticking out the same amount. Goodness gracious. I might cut those off and make them a straight edge. We'll see. So I guess we're going to have to go down here. We don't really have a choice, do we? That's what happens when you don't pay attention. Let me grab my pencil so I can actually mark that. There we go. A little more. <clears throat> So 
going ahead and um, getting that about where I want it there. Sliding that in a little bit. Hope you guys can see okay. <clears throat> Giving it a scooch. Feels like it's not in the same place. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and erase that line. I can see that pencil line. There we go. Okay, so we've got three tabs instead of two. <laughs> but that's okay. But the way that I can even these out, you know what? I'm just going to leave it. It's okay if it's imperfect, right? I mean, as I always say, who's going to be examining your work? You know, who's going to be looking at this and picking it apart? Nobody. So I think I will do a little bit of decor on here because I don't like this one being on the top. So let me find, I already pre-cut some circles here for my other project. So I wonder if we could use her. That would be so cute. Is it the right size? Ooh, it's pretty much the right size. So yeah, I'm just gonna call it the right size. Look at that little girl or that woman. Love it, let's ink it up and put her on. Usually there's there's a way around a mistake, so don't don't freak out. I know it can be uh, if you're anything like me and you're kind of OCD and you have things in your mind you want to do them a particular way, and imperfection is a is a challenge for you. Um, I challenge you to just um, settle your heart on it and be okay with having to make a change. You know it's okay. There we go. I like that a lot better. That actually looks like it was on purpose. I'm going to grab my fussy cut scissors and trim that. You can see that white there. Uh, I don't like that. So let's see if we can do that without injuring anything else here. Without cutting something I don't want to cut. There we go. That works just fine. I'm only going to do that on the top one just because that's, I'm just fixing the mistake, so I don't really necessarily need anything on all those tabs. But that was a great workaround, so perfect. So the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and create our accordion paper bit. So I'm just gonna move that stuff out of the way for a second. And then I, you know how I've been losing my um, my needles, and my pins all the time? So I took a piece of this, um, this foam, whoops. I took a piece of this foam and I cut out the corner and then I actually put a piece of chipboard on the back of it and then I I used some Velcro and I attached it to my box that's right there so I can just stick it in there and it's not going to get lost. <laughs> I was just racking my brains. I keep having to replace those pins and it's frustrating. So what we're going to do is bring the scoreboard over here for a moment. I usually don't get my scoreboard out but today I'm going to do it. And we're going to go ahead and um, score this at, um, this is going to be different than what Tiffany did because my um, my book, my belly band is as wider than hers. So she did hers at two inches and we obviously need to go to um, probably two and a half. This goes over a little bit of two and a half. So I'm not sure how that happened, why it's bigger than two and a half. But we're going to go ahead and score at two and a half. Math is hard for me, so I'm going to try this. So we've got our first score mark. Paper moves, which I appreciated Tiffany sharing that struggle because it the struggle is real. So then we're at the half, so then we can go um, here would be two and a half again. So one, two and a half again. Math is challenging for me, so that kind of worked sort of. <laughs> So there we go. And you can have this be as big as you want it to be. I'm just going to, I'm following her, uh, her project and how she did it. So then we've got one. Oh my goodness, guys. I am so sorry. You can't even see. <laughs> you can't even see it. Oh my goodness. Now you can. So we did two and a half, two and a half, and then we're doing two and a half more. So we're going to go here. So sorry, guys. I get in the zone and then I don't look up at my monitor. I did switch it. It used to be on, used to be on that side of me on the the um, the um, shelf, and now it's on this side of me. So it's way closer to my face and easier for me to keep track. And then we're going to go ahead and go over here to the another two and a half inches, and then that hangover. I'll show you in a second. That bit is going to be cut off here in a moment. So 
So we've got, um, you can see here on my board, we've got two and a half, two and a half, two and a half, two and a half. So not too bad in the math, in the math today. <laughs> so let's go ahead and bring this over. So this is our front and we're going to go ahead and glue this to the back of this. So um, let me fold this really quick. Again, I've never done this before, so I apologize if it is rough and you're just going to do an accordion fold, you know, like how you used to make those paint fans out of paper when you were a little girl. So that's what we're doing here. And I really like mine inked, but I could probably just do that afterwards off camera. I really like all of my edges inked. So we're going to go ahead and we, again, we want to, you want to be thinking about which way you want this to open because when this is done, it's going to be glued here and here to create the belly band. So that's going to be glued down to the page. And so then you want to think about which way this is going to open. So if it's this way, then it's going to open like that which to me makes the most sense because I would write to the right of me because I'm right-handed. A lefty would be different, probably. Well, I don't know because I'm not a lefty. <laughs> so let's go ahead and open this so I don't get any glue on anything I don't want it on. And I'm going to go ahead and apply some art glitter glue all around the edges of this. And um, yeah, just we'll just use the little bottle since it's right here. I'm just going to go down. I don't have a great and steady hand over. We're going to go right over that tab. Oops, get out of the way. So anyway, I hope you guys are having a good Sunday. It's um, we Sunday is our family dinner day and usually we host here at the house. But my husband or my daughter's um, new uh, her uh, her guy um, is on call this weekend and some other weekends, and so he can't they can't come here because we don't get cell signal. So, which is kind of nice because it means that somebody else is going to do the cooking. Um, but we miss having everybody here. We usually host everything here, but you know times change new chapters and all. So let's think about this, Renee, before you start gluing on. So that's that way. So goodness gracious, I get so backwards, guys, you know. So I'm going to actually open this up like this. And I'm going to close these other bits if I can get a hold of it without getting all sticky. I should have just left it closed because that would have been easier. So I'm just because uh, we don't want that glue to affect that. So we're going to move that often to make sure that um, our glue is not um, getting stuck in the brad. So we've got it this way. So now we're going to go ahead and we're gonna glue it. I'm just gonna place it on here and then hopefully we'll have time to wiggle wiggle it. And we can always trim if something is um, not perfect. So that looked to be pretty darn good. We've got a little bit of excess. Nope, we don't. So there we go, because that was the other edge. So I'm gonna go ahead and give that a good press go. So now we can do that and that and that and so now we can cut off this extra bit. I grab my trimmer. Just cutting it there on the score line. Sometimes a coffee dyed paper does not cut very well in this uh, trimmer but that seemed to be fine that aside so I will ink all of those folds later but that's what it looks like so again in the journal it's going to be glued here and here and so you'll be able to slip things underneath it and behind it but it will also open up to this amazing writing space well, why is that shorter I guess that's as short as it's going to be seemed longer before. So now uh, I think I'm going to, I will come back and probably do a little bit of a cluster here, but I'm not going to do that on camera. You guys have seen me do that um, a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it. Um, and then I'm also going to put on some pockets here. So do I want to do that on camera? Um, I think I will do that off camera, but basically I'll take scraps. So not this scrap, but I'll basically just cut it so I can get I may even go over this, I'm not sure, and create just a little pocket 
I want to make sure it doesn't interfere, so I wouldn't I wouldn't have it lower than this point. So it would be um, this up. It would be to this point up. Goodness gracious! Um, but I don't want to rush into that, so I'm going to go ahead and pause and not do that on camera in case I change my mind. But these can also be written on the back too. Um, kind of weird though. I'm not really loving those tabs, but I would choose something different next time. So that is that one. So I'm going to do the second one and I'm going to let you guys just go ahead and watch and I'll speed up the video just for the sake of time. So here we go. So since this is going to open, I was trying to motion with my fingers earlier, but this one I'm going to have open to this side. So, sorry, I'm off camera. I'm going to have it open this way, so I'm going to put the tabs on this side instead of the other side, if that makes sense. I'm not going to put one on the front. I'm not going to make that mistake again. So this is just another die from that same set that I um, 
that I just used. I don't know where I got it, guys, honestly. It's thrown into a bunch of my kind of grab-and-go dies, so I don't have it marked. So I'm going to go ahead and go um, middle on this one. I, love, I like that much better. It doesn't feel quite so um, overwhelming, um, but I don't have that one the direction the paper the writing's going the right direction <laughs> but can't can't get that all the time so just gonna glue that up And again, I will put pockets or something on these um, at another time. Um, and probably because this one is so nondescript, I will probably put a tall pocket on here and maybe put a bookmark in it. Uh, we'll see how that goes, but I'm not going to do that on camera. So I will do all the embellishing. You'll be able to see what I did in the photos at the end of the video. So let's go ahead and finish up by gluing this paper on. And again, we want it opening... Um, we want it opening this way, so it's going to be, so that basically means your open edge here is going to go, it's going to go like this. It's kind of hard to explain, um, especially for me, but, uh, and then we're just going to place this on here. So let me get, I'm just going to get my, I'm going to put my art glitter glue directly on here this time. And um, again, you, the other thing you'd want to keep in mind is make sure that your direction is the right way. So I had lined mine all up so they are all good. I'm going to go ahead and place that on here. And again, if you have anything that's not, not quite lining up, you can always trim it off. So don't stress yourself about it. I can see that I've got uh, maybe a little bit of overhang there. But we will address that in a moment. Like so. It could have gone over a little bit more, but that's all right. <clears throat> so there we go. So there is our second one. Isn't that beautiful? So this one's going to, oh, again, it's going to be glued down. Um, how's that work? Yeah, I hope that works. <laughs> In theory, it's supposed to work, so I hope it does. We'll see. We will see what happens. How this, I'm not sure I can't quite get my mind around how gluing this here and here is going to make that. Oh, I guess because this will not be attached. Duh. Oh my goodness, Renee. Okay, so that is it, guys. I will, again, do the embellishing, put some pockets on here, and I will show you in the close-up videos at the end of the video. Thanks so much, guys. Bye-bye.